day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Where is that scripture that talks about the thing that defile a man? Oh yeah, what comes out of man? What is talking? You want to yeah. look? Yeah. Oh, you talking about priests like of priest priest death? Not walking in that authority, right? Not submitting ourselves to that authority, and that would that would impact the way we we're performing, wouldn't it? I, I'm yeah. asking. Yeah, yeah. What comes in? Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I look it up. No, I, was, I was just thought. I, I thought that you. was under the fruits of death. If, if you is it. Because I remember, I remember it says, because they were talking about them washing, with unwa eating with the unwashed hands. He yeah, said, it's, it's, what it's, man. it's what comes out of him that the father him. And then he, he gave him a list of things that uh, that came out of a man that made them, pro I guess, for the most part, unfit for service. If you're defiled, that means you're unfit for service, right? Well, well, what I thought this fact he said is, what, 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 what contaminates what you is what's coming out of you. Yeah, it undermines your character, right? Yeah, that's what it's talking about. It's not what you it's not what you put in. It's what comes out of you. It's what comes out of you that yeah. makes a difference. That's what he's trying to say. Right. Mark seven. Mark Mark seven. Mark, Mark seven. Yeah, box seven fifteen. I'll show it right quick for you. Let me see if I can put it up. What defiles a person? That's that's what you're talking about. Right, right. That's it. Can you read that? You want to read it for oh, okay. okay, I can. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said to them, "Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that enter into him can defile him. Wow. But the things which come out of the man, out of him, those are they that defile the man. Wow. Uh huh. Any man here that have ears to hear, let him hear. Come on, brother. That's exactly. It. You know, it, it, I don't think you want. It, rest of it's not there. That you want to read the whole. You can read the whole it, section. It, yeah, it, it's down at the bottom. It, it comes down. Yeah, it's down at seven twenty. Okay, go ahead. You want to read all the way down to it? Okay. Twenty three. All right. And when he entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable, and he says unto them, "Are you?" A, a, are you so with are ye so without understanding also? Wow. <laughs> you can see that whatsoever thing from without entering to the man, it cannot defile him. Because it enters not into his heart, mm, uh, but into the belly, uh -huh. into, into the drop purging all meat. And he said, That which comes out of the man, that defileth that man. Wow. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed uh -uh. evil thoughts, Woo! adulteries, fornication, wow. murders, theft, covetedness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. It's, ain't that something? That's because amazing. It's, it's what goes in the heart, what's in the heart of man. That makes it If he has those things, those characteristics in there, evil thoughts, adultery, fornication, murder, huh? He even got the word pride in there, yeah. didn't he? Pride wow. and foolishness is in there. It looked like, it looked like Bishop just showed up. It, you know what, what kind of got me on this one? Uh-huh. I'm not married, right? So I thought, you know, like the, the word says, don't look at, if a man look upon a woman and look at her, he's already committed adultery with her in his heart, right? Right. Well, I can understand that. The sin part of that, right? You know, because the sin separation from God is at least defiled, not defiled, but puts a little static on the line when you're trying to listen to him or hear from him. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the fornication portion <laughs> until I looked at the one that defiles the man. It's what comes out of him. But you would have to be married to commit fornication. Woo! And if it's in you, and that's what's coming out of you, then you defile yourself. 
Yeah. You, can't, you can't even, I mean, even as unmarried, you have to have a disciplined thought life. Yeah. And that's what, you know, we, the battle really is, and I'm, it starts off in the, in the heart. It's in the heart, right. Really well, look, I, mean, I, I, talk, I took it as a whole list there. You see that, Brother Addison? There's a yeah. whole list of stuff there. Yeah. One, of, one of the biggest ones is pride. Right, yep. We talked about that last week. Hey, Bishop, how you doing? Is that P? I think that's Bishop. Is that you, Bishop? Oh, yeah, it's Pastor P. This one, yep. Hey, hey, Bishop, you can't talk. You, you muted. Can't hear you. Oh, he's not muted. He's not muted. He ain't sad now. He's just looking. <laughs> hey, hey, Myron. Yes. I want to put a I want to put a spin on something you said earlier too, if you don't mind. You want to take? I'm gonna take these slides off then, right? You should be throwing that. Well, I was gonna go to. Uh, I was gonna go to uh, Matthew 17. Matthew 17. Right, and about uh, start about the 14th. Okay. He said, uh, "Now listen." He said, "Now when they came to the multitude." Uh, there came to him a certain man kneeling down and saying to him, Lord, have mercy on my son, uh -huh. for he is a, a lunatic uh -huh. and, and sore vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not hear him. Uh -huh. Listen, then this Jesus said, and this is what he said. What did he attack? <laughs> he said, yes. oh, faithless and perverse generation yes how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer you bring him here to me uh -huh. and then jesus rebuked him and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour okay so of course then the disciples gonna follow that up <laughs> they came uh to jesus apart and said why could we not cast him out uh -huh. and this is what jesus said to him listen now so in 17 uh -huh. he, the reason the reason they couldn't because they were faithless yes right and so now he said he why did he tell him he said because of your unbelief yes. because it was you it wasn't the demon uh -huh. that he was so special Woo. it was your belief it was your faith for i very last said if you have faith in the grunge seed so on and so forth so on and so forth uh you shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and that it shall be impossible to you and then that's what he said listen how be it this time goeth not out but by prayer and fasting uh -huh. and so i think most people automatically assume that he was saying this kind of demon uh -huh. only goes out by prayer and fasting but that was not the subject matter he no, never told he never told him it was a special kind of demon that's when it didn't go out i believe he was teaching them that this kind of faith that you're going to need to overcome these kind of situations yeah. it right. goes out it's only going you're only going to be there to work from that particular position of faith by prayer yeah. and fasting oh, yeah stay in it right stay in that yeah so so it was less about the demon and it was more about them yeah yeah he was, and I, I thank you for that jimmy before we go on i just wanted to thank you for correcting what i was saying i was mixing two uh -huh. two two scriptures together uh-huh but i'm glad that he made the point and brought it out to, uh -huh. to to actually focus on what was actually said. Thanks for that, uh, Jimmy. Amen. Yeah, I don't know if I was correcting you or not. Just put a different spin on it, just so we can, you know, try to try to extrapolate from the scriptures what he's really saying. That's one yeah. of your words right there now. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 it, it should be pointed out, though, right? Is that absolutely what? What was there? Uh, I believe in what? In the authority. <laughs> Their authority. Because they said, is why couldn't we cast him out? They, the first thing was, we, why yeah. should I cast him out under the authority <clears throat> of God Almighty? Huh? The authority given to us, how come we couldn't cast him out? Because you're unbelief. Yeah. You had unbelief in the authority. Yeah. Yeah. Because it came out when Jesus told it to come out. Huh? But you had unbelief. He said you faithless. Hey, look. Hey, that is real. <laughs> hey, that was that didn't sound kind of pleasant to me. That didn't sound good. <laughs> he rebuking. <laughs> he rebuking the followers. He the elder. Look at how the fall asleep, man. 
Yeah, I am. I am. I am. I am quite gone. Yeah, I was reflecting on something I read from Myron gave me his book, and the guy told me in that book he talked about how it was necessary to really meditate on the word. Right. The mind sealed in a sense because they observed something, and it probably caused them to doubt because of what they were looking at. Exactly. And yeah. uh, he was saying that there's natural doubt that occurs, and that that's one of the reasons that we don't, re you know, get the results that are there already for us. And then there's the ignorant doubt, and then he talked about another one too. I can't recall what it was, but I understand what he was saying though, because he said, "I know that doubt is a manifestation of our mind." But you know, uh, and Elvin, if, Elvin, it, if it, it undermines the power of God. Elvin, isn't it funny or strange? The fact is that. He called them old faithless. Oh yeah, I mean he, 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 he gave them the word. He gave them the authority, right? He knew that they were able to do it. They were dealing with him. I mean, they, he, he called them in the on the carpet for that uh, several times, like when they wanted to talk about the the, scribe, the, the living of the Pharisees. Yes, sir. Oh, bread I made out there. Come on. Oh. And then, and then in this case, but they didn't believe what he said. And they. Oh, Jesus, help me, help me right there, help me right there. Excuse me, give me because he did say when he comes back, Elder, yeah. and Brother Addison, will I find faith? Will I find and, faith? And I think that has to do specifically with his his person. With his person, because he's the one that's being enthroned. You know, the word said that he, at his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he's been given all power in heaven and in earth. So somebody said we had to call his name every time. You said that last time, Bradson. But we had to be aware of who it is that we represent. And the authority, authority when, we, when we use that name, it's the authority. Authority of the person that we're dealing with. That's been given to us to use it and what's in that authority. You and know, it, it is. It, the sovereignty of the Lord. Up the, uh, the parable about the talents. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, people been given, you know, first, you know, the, the 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 talent parable. Right. Right. Are, are you the one that just buried? Uh -huh. Did you just bury your talent? Right. It, you know, you I know? think I think it sounded me is like this. So you don't have faith in the authority. Yeah, of the Lord. So you say don't believe it. In the authority. Can I ask this question? Go ahead. Is there what the connection between? Faith and believing. It says faith comes by hearing. Hearing. But if you hear something and don't believe it, that constitutes the absence of faith, right? Yeah, I believe. Okay. okay. So they had heard Jesus and seen his works, but they just didn't believe he was functioning. I guess they doubted his abilities exactly. in that particular. Right. Right. Well, why couldn't the children of Israel couldn't go into the promised land because they doubted the the authority. God. They doubted God. Also, look at Peter. He looked at the the physical. Yeah. Took his eye off of Christ and began to sink. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. He took his eye off of the authority that gave him the ability to walk on water. So the authority said, "Come." He said, "Yes." He said, he said "Come." Yeah. And so, no different. Come on now. No it, different. They it, took their eye off of God and looked at the the the, the, out, uh, the, the, the outward, the physical, you know, <laughs> was going on in the physical uh -huh. and began to fail. That you is, know, the authority started fading away. Yes, sir. And that's what they definitely trying to say. We gotta worry about, we gotta have faith in the authority. And the children of Israel died in the wilderness because of their unbelief. Forty years, the elders said, for forty years because of their unbelief. Right. We gotta have faith in the authority. We gotta have faith in God. We gotta have faith in Christ. We gotta have faith in the Holy Spirit that God is, and the is authority it, they give it to us. That that's the essential. I think that that is the essential because yeah. on Christ all things are built. Come on, now. All things are were created for him by him. That, right. that, that thing is not working. So it, it's uh. So, hmm? That was that was Jimmy. And, you oh know, okay. Yeah, that was one of the things I saw. But as I let you read this one, 
uh, the parable of the persistent widow. 